We're on. <laughs> well, happy Monday. It's a pleasure to be in front of you again. It's been a, a, a few weeks. We had some technical difficulties last week. I tried to handle some things on my own. Brooklyn, who fortunately is here tonight, um, wasn't here last weekend, so I uh, apologize for last week. But I look forward to sharing a lot of good information with you tonight. We are changing up the venue a little bit. We're actually at the Smith's home, and I want to thank them for allowing us to be here. We're going to do a um, some customer reviews. We'll answer some questions. I'm going to actually have a couple people that have never been on the seller sizer come up on the seller sizer. I'm going to walk them through what seller size does. So if you know anybody in your personal family that is suffering from issues like hip problems, knee problems, back problems, digestion, elimination, circulation, problems, balance, etc., you'll see how I work with them to help them understand how solar size works. And then when we're done with that, it reading the customer reviews, answering some questions, go ahead and write if you have some questions. But I'm going to take you through what I call Fat Eradicator 2. Now, it's intense. Okay, it's meant to be intense, but I'm going to show you a way that you can approach it more gently when you're beginning. But... The, the request was that we put together a 10, we did a 20 minute fat eradicator one and it's awesome and it's great, it works wonders. But the request was how can we do a 10 minute weight loss program? So that's exactly what we did. If you have a Volkswagen Beetle and you fill it up with gas and it puts around it's going to have great gas mileage, but it's not going to be burning that fuel very, very quickly. If we want to do a shorter period of time, we're going to have to increase the intensity. So what you're going to be seeing tonight is more like a Ferrari. You put the gas in and you're going to be burning it quickly. So we're going to be using the biggest muscles of the body in a way that uh, you can't do with typical aerobic activities, but it's extremely effective as well. So let me start off by reading some questions. Feel free to... to uh, write any questions during this period. And Margaret writes, some of these may be repeats, they're great. We can't go through all of them. These are a couple I wanted to share with you that I haven't shared for a long time. It's a lady who began in her 80s. By the time she was in her 90s, she was skiing again. And at 101, Ruth, or Irene celebrated her birthday tobogganing. Her daughter was one of our customers as well. And this lady here heard me on the radio, started to sell her size. Three and a half months later, I get a, a, a beautiful letter from her. She sent me a copy of the article. She said that the seller sizer had saved her life. And she said that since the printing of the article, the Seattle Times had had more requests for copies and duplications of the article than of any other article they'd ever printed. Well, after she'd been on the seller sizer for a few months, she calls up the Seattle Times and she says, You've got to get this information out to the public. Seattle Times had no idea what she was talking about. They'd never heard of seller size, but they asked her, how old you are? How old are you? And um, Ruth Mary said, I'm 94. And they said, oh, where do you live? So they went and they featured her on the front cover of Section E of the Seattle Times newspaper, sitting Lotus style on her seller sizer, telling her story. This is what she sent a, a copy of to me. And then she said in her letter, she says that since the printing of the article, the Seattle Times has had more requests for copies and duplications of that article than of any other article they had ever printed. That's a pretty big endorsement, if you ask me. But, um, all right. Margaret writes, I've received my solar sizer today. I'm going to love it. It is well packaged. Thanks to Mr. Hall's video number 25, I was able to put it together myself. I'm an 80-year-old female and not particularly strong. Great educational materials and product quality. So glad I chose Seller Sizer. Margaret. Thank you, Margaret, for sharing. And Carol writes, I'm 56 and have tried so many different pieces of exercise equipment and nothing comes close to how I feel after doing a Seller Sizer session. I run two to four plus miles every day, but I feel that I get even more out of my 20-minute session on your Seller Sizer. When my girlfriend told me about hers, money was tight for us, so we went to a local sports store and bought a mini trampoline. It was just awful. Now with the real seller sizer, it's sure not at all like any other rebounder. I see what an incredible difference the real thing makes. This is just wonderful. 
I use muscles that running doesn't employ and feel so much stronger in just 20 minutes rather than my usual half hour to an hour run. Plus, I really love the fact that I can use it right here in my home and don't have to go to the track. If you have any hesitation about getting the cellar sizer, honestly, put it aside and get it. It's the absolute best exercise equipment that I've ever owned. Testimonial, Carol. Thank you, Carol. Um, I'm not going to read that one. It's a little, little too small. <laughs> Judy writes, David, 10,000 steps a day is recommended by the Heart Association. Bouncing on the cellar sizer helps me to achieve this goal daily. I track my steps on my Fitbit. I feel like a champion when I accomplish this. Um, and Kahualani writes, loving it. I no longer walk like Frankenstein. Takes all the stiffness and pain away. Roger writes, sure, making sure that I do two to five minute routine at night to release the tension across my shoulders and back so I can sleep better. By getting a better night's sleep, then I am able to get, I'm able to get up early to do my full routine on the cellar sizer. And Joan writes, Jeff started back after a seizure, after a seizure that caused a broken ankle. Oh, thank you, Joan. Carla says, still love my cellar sizer, David Hall. Thank you. 14 years old and still like new. My husband, 225 pounds, still like new. And she says hi to us. Um, Angel Angelia writes, bounce every day. If I don't, my body goes back to pain from arthritis. Cellar sizer changed my life. That was a little small to read too. Hi Dave, just letting you know I've lost 30 pounds of my cellar sizer alone. After I lost my family, I started binging on ice cream, but caught myself and started a food journey and now down almost 30 pounds on that 60 pounds off this almost 60 year old lady sure feels good. I can't thank you enough for all you do for everyone in our cellar sizer family. Pictures when I reach my muscle toned body and very proud of myself. Love to you and your family. Thank you. Um, Sharon says, I'm 64, and so I use it every day, sometimes several times a day. Keeps me slim, taut, flexible, energetic. Well, the list goes on and on. Sean writes, really is one of the most enjoyable activities I've ever done. Once you start, you don't really think about stopping, unlike other workouts. And Bonnie writes, I've been following you for several years, and in the beginning I used a generic trampoline, but a few years ago I bought the cellar sizer and the difference was amazing. The app, Senior section, made it enjoyable to work out twice a day. I had a hip replacement in December 2021. I credit my cellar sizer for preparing my body prior to surgery. I recovered quickly, and once I was cleared, I started to cellar size again. Thank you for this tutorial on the hip flexor. I'm 75, and it's part of my daily exercise routine. I think my healthy looking skin and overall strength is due to the cellar sizer. I want to thank all of you for continuing to share your stories. It, it motivates us. It keeps us excited. It helps so many additional people who are looking in to cellar size and what it might be able to do for them. And what did I just do with my questions? Um, right there. Oh dear. Okay, we're back, all right. Do you weight lift in addition to cellar size? No, and, and it's a dead giveaway. People that weight lift tear down to build up. They'll build a hard muscle, not a soft muscle. And when you tear down to build up, nothing wrong with this, like a sport, but when you tear down to build up, they tell you to do it every other day because when you tear the membrane, the body literally has to heal the tear. So it patches the tear with protein and it gets the protein patch. And then you tear the patch and it patches a patch and so on and so forth. And you, big, you build the bigger muscles, but in the process you can damage ligaments, tendons, lose flexibility, timing, speed, coordination. It's, like I said, it's more of a sport. It's a manipulation of the body. You'll never see any, any other species of animal out there pumping iron weights or doing some of the crazy things we see people do on television. 
and yet they're very strong, they're very flexible. Solar size is more natural. It doesn't tear down to build up. It is weight bearing, not weight lifting. And so the increase of weight is on every muscle, every cell, over 100 times a minute. So again, muscles, bones, connective tissues, ligaments, tendons, skin, collagen, protein fibers, they don't have an option. This is weight bearing on the entire body, not just parts of it. Dave, I'm wondering why you seem to have no trouble doing the side and back kicks. And when I do them, my feet keep hitting the spring cover. It tends to throw off my balance. I'm 5'10", 165 pounds, if that makes any difference. Gazy me. Thank you, Gazy. It's just timing. As you, as you get going on the cellar size and you learn what to do, can, can they see me, Brooklyn? Here. As, as I kick my feet out, you see I'm up above, if not even close. But if I try to kick out first, you know, that, that doesn't work. So you're actually bouncing up in the air when you're coming down. And that's, that's how you clear. It's just a timing. Thanks, sir. First, thank you for your dedication to helping educate us on so many benefits of cellar sizing. What would you suggest for someone with carpal tunnel? Well, the movement up and down on the cellar sizer is, is massaging tissue. So all the ligaments and movement helps to increase flexibility. I, I, I know people who have had the carpal tunnel syndrome um, as well as um, problems with their elbow or the shoulders that it, they've used what's called a Dynaflex or a Dynaball. You can find those on Amazon. And it's a little gyro um, device. You get going and you keep it going with your wrist. While you're bouncing up and down doing it, it's helping to move fluid, constantly moving fluid. And so you're moving fluid and exercising, and that has been very helpful to, to many, many people. What can you suggest to help relieve pressure from sinus headaches? Well, the bouncing up and down on the cellar sizer it's like an internal scrub brush. So as you're moving up and down, it helps to break up blockages and open up circulation. It can take about three to five minutes. Can you have, can you or have you already talked about the benefits to the nervous system or the vagus nerve, the vagus nerve? Well, we don't have any studies on that, but um, the movement up and down is definitely helping to stimulate circulation, flexibility, um, providing oxygen and nutrients to different areas of the body more effectively. So uh, as far as overall health, it, um, it, it's going to re help reduce stress, um, increase circulation, and reduce inflammation because of the gentle massaging effect that takes place. Um, baby bounce, I feel, instantly calms me down. But it's a journey in our society and lifestyles to balance this too. Kelsey. So we don't need to do any additional weight training or strength training at all to achieve the same effect as working out in the gym. How often and how long do we need to bounce to build muscle? I've lost a lot of weight too fast and I think my muscles have atrophied. Is it possible to regain the muscle and build it up? Also, my son needs to lose a lot of weight. Can using the cellar sizer be enough to achieve this and how much bouncing per day would he need to do for weight loss? And again, those are all there's a lot of variables involved in that, what your metabolism is, how, what the intensity is, but it's nothing like working out in the gym. Uh, solar size, I mean, you can build a body. I, again, this is, and Brooklyn can testify, this is, she grew up watching her dad just solar size, this is it. But um, as far as building up stomach muscles, you can build strong stomach muscles. You can build strong arms. But you're not, again, you're not tearing down to do it. So you're improving flexibility. We leverage body weight by altering the angle of the body in different positions. When we leverage that weight and then we increase weight on that muscle, it's like, it's like doing a leg lift. When you're doing a leg lift, you lift your weight away from gravity, but it's limited just to that particular muscle doing the lifting. When you cellar size, you don't just lift your weight away from gravity, you also increase the weight of gravity. So as I come down with that leg up, that's a lot more weight. When I tilt backwards a little bit, I leverage the weight in the abdominals, which is much more intense than just doing a sit-up, which is very limited only to a small group of muscles. So our size is not limited. So my stepmother has some degenerated disc issues, has had sciatica issues in the past, and has some hip issues, cartilage and some fractures. I'm trying to research whether rebounding will help her. Does anyone have any insight? From research online, I'm hearing 
I'm hearing her issues may be worsened by rebounding. I really want to help with exercise stuff because she is struggling with metabolic issues, even with a good diet. And I think that missing the missing key for her is a healthy type of exercise. Can anyone speak on the safety of rebounding with age-related structural back issues? It's the approach that we take. You're not going to just start off doing a lot of crazy movements. Doctor, no, no, doctors know that bones and muscles heal faster and grow strong when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. Well, on the cellar sizer, without jarring impact, you're helping to increase circulation and it's weight bearing to help promote faster healing and, and strength. As far as, there was something asked here, um, oh, as far as worsening. Now, the hip problems, knee problems, back problems, shoulder problems are generally the same problem. They're caused by either weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint. When we address the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint, they get stronger. They're able to retain better support and we're able to retain more fluid. And very often those issues can slowly fade away, but the approach makes all the difference in the world. So if you'd like to talk a little bit about some of those approaches, give me a call at my office and I can go specifically through um, some ideas that you can share. And if you have a medical condition, by all means, uh, share it with your doctor and we'll help. Okay, that's enough for the, the questions and customer reviews. Now, what I'd like to do is we've got a couple of people here who have never seen the benefits of solar size. They don't even really know what it is. So, Elizabeth and your name? Carrie. Carrie, come on up, please. Elizabeth, okay. Yeah, no, we can have you both come up. Yeah. And thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming to be here. All right, so first what we're going to do before we ever get on the cellar sizer, and have you experienced it, we're going to do a strength and balance test. And this is basically going to be illustrating how well you can utilize your current strength and your current balance. And so what I'd like you to do is, Elizabeth, just stand here and take a horse stance, where you spread the feet apart a little bit, keep your back straight, bend at the knee so you lower your center of balance. And I want you to take your hands, hold them in front of you like this, thumbs to the side, elbows right here, and just hold that position. Perfect, elbows put them right there. They're perfect, okay, put your thumbs like that so I don't hurt. All I'm gonna do is push down on you. I want you to attempt to resist me without moving. And we're gonna see how well you can do that. And you just try as hard as you can, okay? All right, so as I push down, ready? She's competitive, watch, <laughs> I like that. Okay, good, get ready? Okay, resist. Now I'm just gonna push straight down. Did you see how you immediately move forward? Let's do it again. Okay, now you know what I'm doing. Ready? Okay, I'm just gonna push straight down. <laughs> she's, she's resisting hard. Okay, ready? Okay, oh, now watch, I'm gonna push straight down. As I push straight down, there she <laughs> up on her toes, up on her toes, and, and I love that. I love the, I love that's great. That's great. I've done this with bodybuilders too, and they're a lot bigger than me, and it doesn't matter because 99% of everybody I've done or more has all these imbalances in their body. And over time, those imbalances begin to affect our performance and our ability to do things. So we're gonna have Elizabeth come up on the solar size now. And I want you to just gently stand there and bounce up and down. Just keep going just like that. You can lift your heels up a little bit. Just have some fun. And we're going to do the same thing with you. Give me your name again. Carrie. Carrie. That's right. Thank you, Carrie. Okay, Carrie. All right. So he's, you can see he's, he lifts weight some. Yeah. You know, you've got, okay. Well, I'm going to show you something in a moment. Okay. But what I want you to do, Carrie, you just try as hard as you can. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to push straight down. You see how you came right over? Yeah. Okay, remember how I'm doing this because I'm going to do the same way in, in a few minutes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to push straight down and he's trying as hard as he can with his feet and he comes right over. Now, that's, that's typical. I want you to check this out. We're going to lose the play around a little bit. I should have wore a short sleeve shirt for this, but I didn't. So I don't, again, I don't lift weights. So I'm not a, I'm not a body puller by any means. But I want you to take your fingers. I want you to squeeze my muscle. How soft it is? Yeah. <laughs> Extremely soft, right? That it'd be impossible to have a muscle like that if I tore down to build up or if I did weightlifting. Feel it when I flex it. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the hardest yeah. strong muscle. 
If you look at a dog or a cat, they're the same way. When they're relaxed, if you were to take your dog and relax and, and push into the muscle, the muscle's extremely soft. But when the dog wants to run or jump high or a cat, I mean, they're going to be able to do these amazing feats. They're, they're very strong, they're very flexible, they're very quick. They haven't compromised their muscles at all. Okay, now, hold on, Terry. Well, um, all right, Elizabeth, I want you to take your hands. We're going to have them put, put them up here on the trapezius muscles. Hold on to these muscles with your fingertips. These are the muscles that help hold up our posture. They're also the muscles when we get a lot of stress and tension. But when these muscles get compromised or weak and gravity is pulling down, you're gonna see that skeletal system, which cannot support itself, it never could. Those gravity starts to win out. And so as you're moving up and down, squeeze those with your fingertips. And as you're bouncing them down, can you feel those muscles? Weightless weight, weightless weight. Can you feel them standing and mm -hmm. contracting? Okay, you keep going at that height. It's not that high, but at that height, she's taking about 5% of her body weight, putting it on top of herself, and she's doing over 100 of these a minute. But instead of pushing the weight away from gravity over and over, you're increasing the weight of gravity over and over. Your body has one or two options. Keep going. You're either going to get short. No, you're, you're fine. You're, yeah. um, you're either going to get shorter and shorter. You won't. <laughs> you won't. Your body's going to adapt. Sorry. <laughs> Your body's going to adapt by getting stronger and stronger. It doesn't have a choice. So grab the deltoids with your fingertips. Squeeze those muscles. Now bounce up and down. Can you feel the muscles flexing? Yeah. Is it a little bit or quite a bit? Quite a bit. Yeah, it is. People that have shoulder problems, we do movements with this right here where we put the elbows in front and bounce up and down and the, the muscles are expanding and contracting. We're increasing circulation and fluid movement. And then we do the same thing up here and then out to the side. So we do these little movements and over a period of time, it helps to open up the rotator cuff and those muscles and ligaments and the flexibility of the shoulders can often be extremely improved. Okay, now grab the bicep with your fingertips. People say, how do you build up a bicep jumping up and down on a cellar sizer? I say, put more weight on it. How do you do that? Bounce. It's all weight bearing. <laughs> so hold on to those muscles, bounce them down. Can you feel the weight on them? I'm actually very surprised that you can feel that. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we did a study at um, Brigham Young University in Utah where they measured the weight bearing activity from the top of the head down to the bottom of the feet. It was almost exactly the same through the whole body. You know, people would think, well, I can see it on their legs, but no, these are G forces. 1911, Albert Einstein said a human body cannot tell the difference between the forces of acceleration, deceleration, and gravity. To the body is simply weight. Well, you're using three forces on the body, not just one. Not just opposing gravity. You're utilizing the forces of acceleration, deceleration, and gravity. And those G forces are on the entire body. So take your hands now, dig them around your waist, dig into the stomach muscles with your fingertips, hold on to the muscles. Now bounce up and down. Can you feel the muscles flexing? Muscles, yeah, you do. <laughs> Dig into the muscles. <laughs> You'll feel them. There you go. Yes, I can feel them. Feel them? Yeah. You're doing over 100 sit-ups a minute. You're still doing 100 of these a minute. You're doing 100 of these a minute. You're giving yourself a facial. All the facial muscles. A have facelift weight on. or a facial? Facial. Uh, <laughs> I had a lady, true story, I was in my office. A lady called me up and she said, I saved $7,000 on a facelift by doing your... It's a technique that I show on, on the solid side. But um, so that, yeah, it... it, it Everything from the inside out. Another lady wrote me a beautiful customer review. She said, David, as I was hitting midlife, I felt like everything was headed south. She said, now that I've been subversizing, I feel like everything's headed north again. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that because when the body gets weak, everything starts to sag. When you put it under more weight over and over, it becomes more resistant to the weight. And that's exactly what solar size is doing. But as you're moving up and down, are you favoring one side of the body over the other? Mm, I don't think so. No. Yeah. That's what's unique about the solar size. So if you have imbalances in the body, if your hips are out of alignment a little bit, and you're moving up and down equally, the hips often they'll just drop and the muscle will move to support your natural alignment. Your balance improves dramatically. And there's a lot of reasons for that too because you're challenging balance mechanism. But, um, all right, let's go ahead and step down. Okay, come on up here. All right, now I want you to do the same thing. We're gonna take your hands, Put them up on the trapezius muscles up there. Hold on to those muscles and you're going to feel them flexing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all. And that's, again, that's that just 5 to 10% of your body weight. If you jump a little higher, you're going to feel a little bit more. But it's all, it's all weight bearing on, on all those, everything. So grab the deltoids. Squeeze those muscles. Bounce up and down. 
Can you feel them flexing? Uh -huh. Yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah. <laughs> it is, people ask me, they say, how long do you sell oversized for? And I say 10 minutes every day, pretty much have been for 30 years. And how can you do it in 10 minutes? And I say, well, if you took one part of your body, let's say you took just your bicep, and you applied 20, 30, or 40% more weight to this muscle 100 times a minute for 10 solid minutes, <laughs> nobody would argue that's a great exercise of that muscle. Now you got to do the other one and all the other body parts. And most of us don't have time for that. So what you're doing with cellar size, and most of us can't even begin with 10 minutes because it's intense. If you've ever been on a trampoline and G-forces, you'll know what I mean. But the moving up and down, you're flexing every single cell all at the same time. And they don't know the difference. Cells don't care where the increase of weight comes from. When you increase the weight on the cell membrane over and over, the cell's going to respond by fortifying its membrane with more protein because it doesn't want to rupture. It doesn't care where the weight comes from. It doesn't care how sophisticated the equipment is, but it will improve. Your balance and equilibrium is improving dramatically, and we're going to demonstrate that in just a moment. But if you look anywhere in the world, when a baby first stands up in the crib, they hold on to the bar, and the baby begins to bounce up and down, and it doesn't end in the crib. Anywhere in the world, they get out of the crib, they'll find a couch or a bed, and they want to jump up and down. We generally kick them off. I tell people if we knew better, we'd be up there doing it with them. But balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, and eye coordination, those are all physiological functions. We're not born with them. We have to challenge them to get them, and that's exactly what you're doing right now. Take your hands. Did you do your biceps? Squeeze the muscle. Dig in with the muscle with your fingers to feel the weight on them. Yeah. It's all the way around the arm. Take your hands, dig them around your waist, dig into the stomach muscles with your fingertips, dig into those muscles. Yeah, no. <laughs> Feeling flexing? Yeah. Yeah. Too easy, isn't it? You're moving up and down, everything else is moving up and down. Internal organs, the fascia, connective tissue surrounding the brain and internal organs are starting to lift, tighten, and tone become firmer. See, we're not just working about any muscles. We're not just working the muscles that are on the outside, we're working the muscles on the inside as well. So let's um, have Elizabeth come back up. Okay, we're going to have you both, we're going to test you again, and I want you to just go ahead and stand with your feet, there you go, hands together, just like that, that was in, perfect. Now, I'm going to push just like I did last time, I want you to try to resist. I'm going to see if there's any difference in your strength and balance. Are you ready? <laughs> resist. I, I can't move you, try it again, go ahead. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Resist. You don't even have to try that hard, Elizabeth. <laughs> There's Jesus like a rock. Okay, she's like a rock. Yoga, Tai Chi, martial arts are trying to create this balance, but they can't get close to what the solar sizer can for this reason. When you're doing, and those are great modalities, they have a lot of additional benefits. But if they really want to have a good experience, solar size first. You're in a more balanced state, and you're going to be able to perform better. So, Kerry, come on up. Let's do you. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Though. All right. Take the same position. And we're going to do something unique in a minute. Okay, ready? Okay. Resist. See, I tried to catch him off guard. I can't. <laughs> do you feel the difference? Yeah. It's oh. huge. It's a substantial difference. Now we're going to do something unique. We're all going to jump up and down on the ground for 20 seconds. Now, I haven't been on the solar sizer like you guys have, but I want you to. Okay, go ahead and push down on my hands. Go ahead and push straight down. Feel how solid that is? Yeah. Very solid. Now, watch. We're all going to jump up and down on the ground for 20 seconds. And this will illustrate what an aerobic impact sport does on the body. Again, nothing wrong with it, but when you hit a hard surface, well, we're all going to do it. When you hit a hard surface, you shatter the nervous system. Muscles will automatically tense up. You're in a balanced state right now, but you're not strong in the balanced state because you haven't been solicizing for very long. So we're going to show you the difference between um, what happens right now when you hit a hard surface and see if there's any difference in your strength and balance when I test you again. I'm going to get you on the solicizer again for a few minutes and test again. And I'm going to tell you um, how to make it last. But... So I'm just going to jump up and down with me, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. All right, now let's take the same position. And we're gonna see if there's any difference in your strength and balance again. Okay, ready? Okay, here's this, I'm pushing straight down. Oh, what happened? Okay, let's do it again, ready? Okay, here's this, I'm pushing straight down. <laughs> Come on up on the sizer, Elizabeth. Come on over. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. Where's this? I'm going to push straight down. <laughs> uh, she is really competitive. I love I'm it. I'm really not. Yeah, you know, when you are being, just, <laughs> just hold them straight out. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, now watch. Okay, I'm pushing straight down. <laughs> He's coming right over. Yeah. I'm going to do it again with you in a moment. You're going to see if the light bulb is really going to go on if it hasn't yet. Okay, now I was jumping up and down too. So, Carrie, let's go ahead and step down. As it come on up, I'm going to challenge you again in your strength and balance. But before I do that, I want you to, because I jumped up and down too, so I'm going to push straight, straight down. <laughs> Pretty solid, huh? Yeah. Okay. It takes about a month of cellar sizing every day in a balanced state to become strong in the balanced state. So then when you hit a hard surface, it doesn't matter. This, if you're an athlete, this is a secret weapon. If you like to ride horses, this is a secret weapon because you're gonna be strengthening your body in different positions as well um, that you don't get the typical exercise. So let's um, go ahead and take the same position. Uh, we're gonna see if there's any difference, okay, ready? And push down and okay, came right forward. Who is it? Come on down. Okay, come on up. And we're gonna challenge you the same way. And am I pushing down the same? I have been. Watch. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna push the same way I did last time. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, resist. Do you feel the difference? You're solid. You are absolutely solid. Ready? Resist. Yeah, you know, you know, you have to try that hard, but you feel the difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you, it is. You can't, you can't ignore it. When I taught the North Las Vegas SWAT team about this program, every single SWAT member walked out with their own cellar sizer because they recognized the advantage that they would have over the average person walking around with all these imbalances compared to what they would have and develop as they became more balanced and stronger. And um, you got a lot of stories like that, but okay. Okay, come on down. We're gonna do the same thing as you, and you tell me if you notice any difference in how whether I'm pushing or anything else. There's no trick to this. This is just this is real. Okay, ready? You resist. Ready? Yep. Resist. <laughs> See, I hurt my I push down harder the second time than I do the first time. I've hurt myself several times trying to push somebody out. I can't do it. You have an enormous amount of strength now. If I had weights for you to lift you would lift more weight after cellar sizing than you would have before. In fact, they did a study at National Aerobics Institute of Seattle, Washington, under the direction of Dr. Larry Kevin, a PhD, that showed that you could increase your overall results in weightlifting by up to 26% faster. And we have a bodybuilder who, uh, who actually did that and won three championships, um, incorporating cellar size with his body the thing had great, great customer review. He's on our website too. But that's uh, what questions do you have? Any? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I'm going to show you what I do in my routine and explain a little bit about that. Can they see me? Okay, Brooklyn, everybody's good. Yes. Okay. All right. So I start off in the morning, gentle baby bounce, house bounce. That's the wake up call. Um, oh, and for everybody who's trying to disparage the cellar size, I got it. I got a comment on this. Thank you to the Cellar Size family for standing up for the Cellar Sizer. Um, there's a break-in period. My unit here, this unit right here, is 17 years old. I still use it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, we've made improvements on, on the newer models, but I still use this unit. I want you to listen because there's, there are companies out there trying to tell us or show how squeaky the Cellar Sizer is. And... Um, some of them even allegedly put lemon juice on both ends of the springs to make it sound squeaky. There's a, 
anytime steel, good steel rubs against good steel, you can have squeak. But when you oil it or treat it, it starts to polish the steel and over time it becomes quieter and quieter. So I want you to listen as I'm bouncing. Tell me how squeaky this sounds. There's a little movement there, but it's not very squeaky. So um, anyway, just address that. So the wake up call in the morning, gentle baby bounce. It increases oxygen blood flow to the brain, stimulates the thyroid, the adrenals, and it's the warm up. I believe it's the most important thing we can do every day. Helps to break up sticky blood cells so they can circulate more freely through the body. And then, then you're gonna have a better, a better day. When you first start, make sure you drink a lot of water because there's a detox effect. We want to flush that out. If you don't drink the water, you'll feel less. So um, after the health bounce or the warm up, then I do my aerobic activities. And there's several aerobic activities you can do, such as just jogging in place. If you lift the knees up, you're going to be working more of the core. If you tilt backwards slightly, I just leverage them. Every time I come down with one leg up, that's a lot, a lot of weight. You're not just doing something like this. You're coming down with a lot more weight. And so it's going to give you faster results. Lower back in the buttocks, kicking the legs up behind me. Every time I come down, boom, it starts to lift, tighten, and tone the whole backside. Digestion elimination processes, gentle twisting. I think it's the second most important activity we do every day of our life. As I gently twist, I'm not just loosening up the back, which is nice because you're moving fluid, and the muscles are helping to feed that circulation between the discs, or the vertebral joints through the discs. You're also taking the colon and the intestines and you're putting them through a little washing machine effect. I mean, that helps to improve digestion elimination processes. The liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, all those internal organs are gently moving up and down and side to side. So that's why we want to drink a lot of water because those have a lot to do with the immune system as well. Um, if you want to work, and we've got over 65 different movements on our Mr. Rebounder app, which many of you know about. Um, The lateral knee, both sides of the knee, we call it ski patrol. Or if you like to go skiing a lot, you can go, you go do the skiing program. We have movement for building up the arms where we do resistance movements. Count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're working the back of the arm here, the front of the arm here. You're increasing the weight through this solid size. The entire body is involved though. See, one of the great distinctions of cellar size compared to typical exercise is when I tilt backwards a little bit and I'm kicking my feet out, I'm becoming stronger in an altered position. That's something most people don't even know how to do. So if you do, you're on a horse or you're riding or, or any physical activity and you're in an altered position, but you've already been Exercising in an ultra position, you're going to be stronger than the average person. And we've got some great stories on, on that as well. Opening up the bronchial tubes and the lungs if you like to sing, or if you're a, um, a radio announcer, for example, you hear my voice right now. This is a technique I designed that opens up the bronchial tubes and the lungs. It gets more oxygen to the one third of the lung most people never do get enough oxygen to. So we, we're more generally speaking, more shallow breathing. And this, this helps open up the bronchial tubes and lungs. Now you begin gently because it's a literal exercise and you don't want to feel sensitive or have... Um, When I first did it, I did it too much. When I began, my lungs felt sensitive the next day to bronchial tubes. But after a while, it helps, it clears out the lungs. It helps to clear out mucus. It helps to um, open up the bronchial tubes. And they begin, instead of sounding wheezy, they begin to sound open. And, and that's, uh, that's healthy. So it goes, it goes like this. And you, know, you don't need the mat on this. It's gently bouncing up and down. It goes... And when I'm done, I don't know if you can hear the difference in the voice or not, but it does open up the voice quality, and sometimes it's more extreme than others. But uh, again, if you like to sing, you've got the 
Parisiamo. You've got more, you've got more um, support and more um, projection because of the summer size, and we can do that before and after as well. Okay, and then one more I'm going to show you that uh, is, is, is for women who want to, and men who want to work the lower abdominals. This is a technique that's graduated. You grad, uh, Brooklyn, can they see me? They do graduated movements where you can put your hands right by your hips, hips to help support yourself and then bounce up and down. When you tilt backwards a little bit, all these muscles automatically are going to tighten up, but you're not just working these muscles, you're working the internal structure as well because it's weight bearing on everything. So you're sitting back a little bit and bouncing up and down. As you become stronger and your back becomes stronger, you can take away your hands and bounce up and down and then lift up one leg, and you just leverage the body weight right here in the lower abdominals. When the leg gets tired, you can lift up the other leg. As it becomes stronger, you can lift up both legs and bounce a little higher. This is all being done right here with the stomach muscles. As you continue to get stronger, you can go cheek to cheek. Now you're working the obliques, both sides of the stomach wall, or in and out, or up and down. And honestly, I don't know if any sit-up is going to be as effective as that. Can you adjust the camera again? Thanks, honey. All right. So what questions that do you have with regards to, to solar size? Because this is the first time you've seen it. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. I agree. It's, um, I'm... Carrie speechless. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just processing it all. Yeah, it is. It's, it works against what we have been taught for years. We have been taught how to manipulate the body and target different muscle groups and body parts by doing all these different types of activities, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just never truly working the body as a whole. You're working the body as parts. On cellular size, even though you've, you can focus on different parts, the rest of the body collectively as a whole is still working all at the same time. So that's unique from, from treating the body as muscle groups and body parts. Um, what are the questions? I wish I had more, but I think it's just pretty amazing. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well, we have some newcomers here also. And I wanted to ask them, Jim, um, what, do, you, do you have any questions at all at this point? Do it. <laughs> just do it, yeah. No, yes. but I just wonder how long it's going to take. I'm up to about 12 or 13 minutes and totally wiped out. Well, that's a lot of minutes. Well, and you've been doing it how long? Oh, a week now. <laughs> a week now? Most people don't do that for a month. Well, yeah. I mean, some do, but not, not a lot of them. But I just wish I'd run into 35 years ago. Yeah, but don't let that hold you back. No, I won't. Good, because many of you have heard me tell the story of the gentleman who called me up last year. And I was at my desk. He called me up and said, Mr. Hall, I woke up this morning feeling great. I don't know why it's because of your cellular size. I just had to call and say thank you. I said, well, that was nice. He said, 20 years ago, you introduced me to cellular size, and it changed my life. I've watched my family, friends, and peers pass on. A lot of them on drugs, medications, poor quality of health. I woke up. I feel great. I'm still enjoying life. And I'm still very active. 20 years ago, when you introduced it to me, I was in my 70s. So, guys, you know, cells don't get old. We'll go through an aging process, yes, but cells are always replicating themselves. We can strengthen and improve the efficiency of our cells at any age. As we strengthen and improve the efficiency of our cells, we do the same thing with our body parts and functions. All right, for those who have held on with us, we're going to do... <laughs> If it's all right, I'd like to do a 10-minute exercise routine that I know is, um, is intense. So it'll be on the Mr. Rebounder app. I will go through and share with you what those movements are now so you can kind of be prepared you for it. Can your password? Yeah. Did it die? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, It should do. Did it do it? It didn't. Okay. Technical difficulty. Just a moment, guys.
Oh, it's not working. Caps on. No. No, it says the account is locked. I don't know. It says try again in a minute. I'm not sure what happened. Um, are we still on live, though? I don't think so since it locked. Like it locked out. Oh, dear. So I don't know if our solar size family is online right now or not. Brooklyn's checking. And if you are, give us a thumbs up. That's a generally a good way to know. But she's looking. Huh. I don't know why it... Uh... Oh, you may have been on the wrong one. Put it on the solar size and see if we can pump it up. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's try this one. Oh, yeah, we're still live. Okay, good. All right. Yep, we're still going. Okay, hang in there, guys. Sorry. I'm going <laughs> to... Thanks, Brooklyn. How did it happen? I'm just curious. I don't know. Your computer just, like, restarted. Really? Okay. Maybe I hit something by accident. I'm sorry. All right, hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. I can type, right? Okay, it's coming back up. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. We go through over the last several years. I, you guys have been so gracious because we've often had issues like this. And, I'm, and they're, they've been so supportive and so wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to go to my workouts. And... This is a, please wait until the data of the workout is downloaded. Okay, it should be downloaded. Okay. Maybe make sure I'm on the Wi Fi. Yep. I'm on. Go back. Huh. We're having internet problems. It says, please wait until the data of the workout is downloaded to select. So let me go out of it completely and come back in. Okay, for those who want to stay with us, I'm going to turn this off, turn it back on, and see if we can't make this work tonight. The, um, this is an intense, um, as I mentioned, workout. It's going to be using the biggest muscles of the body. The biggest muscles of the body have the greatest demand for fuel. So it increases metabolism, but it also burns a lot. You're, you're gonna, we're going to feel it. And no one needs to say this is too easy, because it isn't. If you think it's too easy, just squat down a little bit further or run just a little bit more intensity into it. You can make this as intense as you want to. But it is. It's a 10-minute routine. So let's see if we can make this work. Please wait until the day. To download the, uh, the information. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hmm? Oh, we'll lose everything if we do that. Yeah, we'll lose the. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you who have the Mr. Rebounder app, oh, I can't pull it up to give it to you. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm looking to do venues in different areas. We'll be at doctor's offices, we'll be at the hospital, we'll be at um, police departments, fire departments, uh, athletic departments, um, physical therapists. We're going to work on taking the venue to them so we can change it up a little bit and so you can actually see how solar size is working for different people and different needs and different conditions. Oh, okay, so, um, eradicator number two. All right, I'm going to read these to you just in case you, uh, it doesn't work. It looks like it's going to work, but if it doesn't, you might want to write these down. Um, the baby bounce. 
do the baby bounce for 30 seconds. Power breathing. You're going to do power breathing for 10 seconds. That's a long period of time, so don't do too much. If you get a little dizzy, you get a lot of oxygen in the bloodstream. But the increase of oxygen into the bloodstream is going to increase our metabolism, and the body needs to have the oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. So we're going to prime the body. That's what this is to do. Then we'll do the hip rock for 20 seconds. So the baby bounce, 30 seconds. I will post this also. The power breathing, 10 seconds. The hip rock, 20 seconds. Now we prime the body. And we're going to do the jamba run for one minute. And when we're done with the jamba run for one minute, then we're going to do the sprint moderate. We're going to do a sprint for 30 seconds. Again, the biggest muscles of the body. Then we're going to do the ski patrol. So we're catching our breath, actually, with the, um, the um, moderate running and then the ski patrol. So it goes again. Baby bounce, 30 seconds. Power breathing, 10 seconds. Hip rock intense, 20 seconds. Jamba run, one minute. Sprint moderate, 30 seconds. Then the jamba run again for one minute. Then the ski patrol for 30 seconds. We'll do power breathing again for 10 seconds. We're helping to replenish the oxygen in the system. Then we'll do the stomach run where we're tilting back a little bit and we're focusing on the stomach while we're still using the big muscles. Then we'll, right from there, we're going to go to the jamba run for one minute. We'll do the ski patrol, uh, the, the ski patrol number two for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do the jamba run again. Let me just write JR for jamba run. One minute. Sprint moderate again for 30 seconds. That's when we're catching our breath, even though we're still working some big muscles. Then we're going to do power breathing again. We'll do the ski patrol number two. Then we'll do right from there. We'll do that for 20 seconds. So power breathing, 10 seconds. Ski patrol, 20 seconds. Jamba run. One minute, gentle twist. We'll do the twist to help balance things out. And then we'll do the, the hip rock side to side. And those we'll do those two for 30 seconds. So twist for 30 seconds, warm up hip rock 30 seconds. And that will, that will be the routine. So just kind of follow along. Often we'll have the monitor in the background so you can watch the Mr. Rebounder app as I'm doing that. We don't have that here, so we're going to... Um, just watch me as I do it. I'm going to put on a little bit of music, I think, just because. And Oh, it's loading the music. It is taking, it is, it is real slow today for some reason. So, guys, you've got it. I'm going to post it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it with you tonight, but we'll, uh, we'll get it, we'll get it into the Miss Rebounder app and then I will do it at another time where I can do the routine for those of you who want to follow along on our YouTube channel too. So thank you. Have a great week. You have to love electronics. Appreciate all of you. If you have any questions, give me a call. We're in the holiday season. Um, we're getting ready to offer our, our special holiday rate, and I want you to um, think of those that you might be able to help with the Solar Side program as well. Thank you. God bless. Talk to you again soon. Remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in.